I wish there was another game similar to Among Us that would come out soon. There's a couple of copycat games like that. Is there? Yeah, we were... When we were looking into something to do our hide-and-seek game, we ran across a couple that were like almost almost word for word exactly among us. And that Did was. Did y'all ever? Go ahead. I was just gonna say we were trying to avoid those because that wasn't the style we were going for. Did y'all any or either of y'all ever try the new map that came out a few months ago? Nah, I lost interest in Among Us pretty quickly. It became, uh, in my experience, all the games I played, there was always one person who knew literally everything there was to know about the game. So, like, n the person who was the, uh, I don't know, the bad guy, I forget what they call it, um, like, literally never had any chance. It'd be, like, one round, and they'd be like, hey, I know who it is. And you're just like, man, this isn't fun. <laughs> I may have just been, like, exceedingly unlucky with the groups I got stuck in, but... We just know you that well, man. I guess. <laughs> we know your pals. Well, yeah, people... if, it's, if it's between strangers, maybe, like, because they don't know your pals. I don't know. There'd be people that I would get into a match and... As the, uh, they'd be like, "Hey, it, it takes you 4.8 seconds to do this, uh, to do this thing on this part of the game, and you only stood there for 4.6 seconds. So, I know you faked it." And I'm like, "Wow, dude, are you really min-maxing that hard?" Oh, I still, yeah, 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 that that does get annoying. I still remember whenever I booted the game up for the first time and went in for the first time and I was an imposter. I was like, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, same. Like, I didn't even kill in my first imposter. I, like, they spent, I spent most of, like, just following people around, not gathering up the courage to kill them. Because I didn't know what to do. <laughs> it's a human sign when things go wrong. Things are always going wrong around me. Real. We have a lot of logs about that, yeah. That's why I liked the hide and seek game we were playing yesterday, Witch It. Because it's like, it was interesting to like hide in really niche places where nobody would even think to look and then hide in plain sight. <laughs> where literally the, the people would walk you, right by you. you. It as a bone, and then just went falling down, falling down to the no, to the lowest level into the mines or something. That was fun. <laughs> so it's kind of like Gary's mod, or well, it's it's kind of like prop hunt. Yeah. yeah. I think I like the mobification mode better than the standard mode. Mobification? Yeah, because in standard mode there's one hunter and a bunch of witches, or two hunters and a bunch of witches, depending on how you want to do it. Um, but uh, it's always the same number of hunters, and in mobification mode, every time a hunter kills a witch, the witch turns into another hunter. Nice. So, you, it's... You need a lot of players for that. Not really. It just snowballs uh, a little better, which is... It feels better for the hunters, because, like... The game seems to be leaning more towards the witches. And then you go into mobification mode, and you just add more hunters to help compensate for how easy the witches get it. I used to think it would the game would benefited the hunters, and then I was like, no, 
No, I was just really bad at hiding. We get the chicken and the lamb. And the, we just get so many things, like the... No, hunters get some good stuff, man. You you, you left when we started you getting level... the good hunter stuff. Yeah, you just, you just need to level up, I guess, yeah. It was yeah. worth it that I left, though I have, like, a very, very nice hair color now. <laughs> yeah, you could really amplify the number of players in that game, and it doesn't seem like it would, uh... It doesn't seem like it would negatively affect the game all that much. Hope it will go on sale soon, so I can get it. Is it not? Is it not on sale anymore? Um, no. Yesterday when I checked, it was full price, like I think twenty dollars. Uh, ah, yeah. When I bought it, it was six dollars. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for the sale. Should be soon. I mean, Christmas is coming, or unless that's already passed. No, the sa sales sales upcoming. Yeah. I just recently, maybe yesterday, realized one of my favorite games from my childhood is on PC now. Oh, hey, it's what? raining. Well, there you go, Adam. Unless it's not raining for time. him yet. No, it's raining. It's not t raining for me. Sad. Once you learn to hide and get abilities, it's much more witch-centric, yeah. Early game, like low levels, it's much more hunter-centric. And then once you get mid to late game, it becomes much more witch-centric. That's why also I like... Also that, that that's piece why of bread, I... loaf of bread you were in the Aladdin theme, <laughs> that was great. <laughs> yeah. Just once, uh, around. Once, uh... Once the witches get a couple more abilities, the witches start to, to run away with it. That's why I like the mobification uh, in later levels, is because you just add more hunters to the mix. And the witches can still easily win. There were times where it was three hunters against one witch and we could not find the, the fourth person. Dungeon Keeper is an amazing game. As yeah. well. I kind of regret passing you, Matt, now, because more than likely I'm going to miss the turn. I'll let you know. Yeah, I used to play Dungeon Keeper a lot. Dungeon Keeper was really fun. It's surprisingly hard to stream, though. I tried it once, and it was like... It took me like 30 minutes to get it set up. Rip. Well, it's a really old game. Did you, have you ever played the... How long ago did you try it? Strap streaming it, I mean. Oh, a couple years ago, I think. Maybe it would, it's gonna be easier now? Uh, I think it would be harder now. Because oh, now, okay. now the game is even older. <laughs> <laughs> True. What were you gonna say, Adam? There was an, another game that came out. I mean, it's just a spinning image of that game, but I can't think of the name of it. It came out three, four years ago. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, there was War one... for the Underworld or something like that? I forget the name of it. There was one that came out like ten years ago that was very, very similar. Yeah, they usually come out with a similar game every like five or six years. The second game is the best. I like the second game a lot. The second game, the problem with the second game is it was a little... The the harder levels really snowballed in difficulty. They got really hard really fast. Did I ever play Roller Coaster Tycoon? No. I never really got into the... Um... I don't know what those are called. It's weird because I really, I really like Sim City style games, but I don't like games that are built around like hospital simulators or uh, prison like simulators. Hospital. Yeah, I've ne I never really got into those. I don't know if it was. I mean, I obviously haven't tried one in a long, long time, but the old ones never really got me. I played Sim Hospital for a while. Then I think 
what was it? It wasn't transport I could use a train I could I don't know how, how the looks or something. I don't know how what it was named. I played that one a bit. I really got into transport fever for a while. That was fun. Exit. <laughs> Just scream it at Adam at the last <laughs> second. Exit! I was about to say, like, you're a little late there. What about The Sims? No, I don't like The Sims. I played two, three, and four, and one. I, I, I played all of them. But it's just... I mostly play it for the building aspect, I think. And then I just ignore every social thing, just do the... get a, get a um, writing job, <laughs> like for work from home, and just do my introvert thing is... <laughs> ignoring the social stuff. Yeah, I tried playing The Sims, I think it was The Sims 1, I tried playing it probably three or four different times, and I would play it for like an hour and just be like, yeah, I don't like this. <laughs> yeah, it can be a... you don't... Yeah, it can be a bit weird. Playing a life simulator when you're already living a life. I don't know. I don't think it's any more weird than driving a truck. I mean... But, uh, it just wasn't for me. It was, like, the people were far too needy. Yeah. I think the problem is, is I don't like games that require you to, uh, they require you to keep up so many, they require you to keep up so many different individual things, and the time limit per day is extremely short. Uh, so, like, literally, you can't do everything all in one day. It's, it's like... I hate those games. It's mathematically impossible. That's like when, when I first played Harvest Moon, like, 15 years ago or something. Um, I got really into it for a while, and then as I progressed through the game... Uh, exit here, Adam. <laughs> as, as I got further and further into the game, I realized there's not enough time in the day to do everything you need to do. You end up spending the entire day working on your farm, and then all your social stuff goes to crap. Yeah. And I'm like, I, I would like these games if I could tell the time limit to be like, triple what it is or something. Like, what's the, what's the Harvest Moon game that came out on PC a couple years Stardew back? Stardew Valley? Stardew Valley, yeah. I would. Yeah, I, I tried that one. It was way too much for me. I'm pretty sure I would enjoy Stardew Valley. I would just need a mod that made one day take like, I don't know, like two or three hours instead of like, because I think it, I think one day is like 30 minutes, and I'm like that's not enough time for me to do everything. Nothing. We're not even anywhere close to you right now. That's why I said nothing. <laughs> yeah, like I'm almost there. It's like games that have dialogue choices that have timers on them. Half the time I can't even read all the options by the time the timer's getting ready to run out. Yeah, and if it's a tense situation, even less so. Yeah. And I'm like, I just want the timers to be longer or just... just have the option to turn them off. I understand some people really, really like them. They like the tense uh, choice making and stuff like that, but it's like, I'm a slow reader. <laughs> That's why I listen to audiobooks. Aren't there time choices in Mass Effect? Uh, there's a few, yeah. But I've, I've played Mass Effect but so many times, I know what the options are now. Yeah. 
Um, so it's not really an issue for that, but like, I play a game for the first time and there's a time selection and I'm like, I, I need time to think about what I'm going to say. And the game's like three seconds and I'm like, I, I can't even read all the options. Oh, this one, I guess. <laughs> I don't want to be silent. And the, um... Time sequence, like you have to put punch up, but a uh, lot of buttons or something. Oh, quick time events. Quick time events, yeah. I'm usually okay at those. I I have I mean, like I'm a usually okay with those as well, unless I play on a harder difficulty. If I know the game well, and then it gets oh. complicated. What game was it I was playing on stream a, a couple of months ago that had? Quick time events in it, but on the hard difficulty, the quick time events were ridiculously compli complicated. Heavy rain or? Oh, was it heavy rain? Yeah. Even? I don't know. I think it was heavy rain. And I was like, these quick time events are way too complicated on hard mode. Yeah, it was heavy rain. Yeah. Whoa, we have Adam. some old farts, Courtney. Yeah. Whoa, dude. You were flying. Fine? He's fine. He's fine. Uh. Oh, okay, I see what you're doing. Yeah, I've stopped the traffic because I'm in the other lane. That's alright. I was hitting brakes and I was like, it's getting closer. She's getting closer. Oh my god, I gotta turn the other way. Yeah, we, uh, you, if you get into a situation like that, you can always slam the e-brake on. That helps a lot. Yeah, I can, but at the same time, I'm trying to shift down, brake, steer at the same time. Oh, come on, just add like a ninth or tenth thing in there. Which is oh, why yeah, I cool. prefer simple automatic. <laughs> have to worry about that. Did you not get a turn signal? Because of the whole fiasco that happened, the car in front of me went, but I wasn't able to get around in time. Oh, I gotcha, go. I gotcha. So we're having to wait for the next... That's all good. You know the one thing from Euro Truck that I wish the American trucks had is the uh, the over overhead uh, mirror, the, like the front of the truck mirror. I get why though, because we have the snub nose trucks instead of the uh, instead of the flat the uh, the cab overs. Yeah, I I, I don't know. I prefer the BTS um, trucks. I don't have to worry about having to calculate how far the distance is. It's why I didn't like the Heterbuild truck that I got. Because it was it's, it's it was too long in the front. Have I ever heard of Redneck Rampage? Yes, I've heard of Redneck Rampage. <laughs> It's built on the uh, the Doom 3D, the yeah Duke Nukem 3D engine. I played the that game. Duke Nukem. Mm -hmm. On the, the DOS versions or pre-11 versions, the old ones. I don't know why I prefer the old DOS first shoot shooter games than the modern ones. Hey Adam, get stuck. Yep. Unreal Tournament? You think the company Unreal got big? Yeah, you ever heard of the Epic Game Store? It's the same company. <laughs> I like the Epic Game Store just for the free, give, free games they give us like every week or so. Is 
that you were gonna replay Bucks next when the DLC comes out, right? Yes. <laughs> and to wait! I love Bucks next. It's so dumb. Yeah. Bunker? Bunker, bunker, bunker. <laughs> Once you figure out the strategy for catching them all. I'm sure my my second playthrough is going to be much faster than my first one was. Yeah, because you know the strategy is to catch them. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I used to struggle really hard to figure out how to catch some yeah. of these. Same level? Adam? Yes. Okay. I have I logged in my oh. gamers. He's here! Hey, Creed! What's up, guys? Get, it, get um, in here, nerd. Already in. Giggity. You should know. I, I need to play Bug Snacks real soon. One. Uh, well, I mean, I'm, I'm waiting for the DLC to come out. Once the DLC comes out, I'll replay Bug Snacks. One next year it comes out. And I'm so happy it's free. Let's go to Nogales. That'd be an interesting drive. Uh, are you? Have you joined the uh, convoy, Creed? I have. Yes. Okay. And you should be able to accept the job. As soon as my menu loads. Really convenient. The pickup for this job is at the same drop-off location we just were. Hey, where do I go for that? Uh, if in the menu, in the main menu, if you go to the top to convoy after you joined, you and take same job. Cool. Got yeah, it. Yeah, that's it. You got it. And I then it got should this. then it should teleport you to the same city. Yeah. Thumbs up. Cost me a thousand dollars. If you're level twenty three, like you said, it shouldn't be. Yeah, tw twenty one. Yeah. Uh, oh, you're twenty one. Okay. You're the, you're the same level as we are. Great. Twenty one. You're old so yeah, that, to that's drink. like. Perfect. Change. Meanwhile, I'm, you know, I'm the baby back here. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> You'll catch up. But also, um, I don't think the gifts give much experience either. It's more like the hazardous cargo that gives high value cargo to give experience to level up. No, mm. the, ex the experience is primarily based on the distance that you drive. So the reason we're getting so low money. experience is because, uh, yeah. it's it's because we're, distance. we're going short distance. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you do. Uh, yeah. I, Go ahead. No, I just, yeah, I just figured out it was the money that came in from the high value and stuff. Correct. Yes. I'm gonna pull off on the right hand side of the road after this light, so we can wait for Creed. Is there wow. a heavy haul on? You, you are really far away from us, Creed. Am I? Yeah. Wow, I am. Where did it teleport me to? Well, the nearest, Street. the nearest uh, ownable garage. Or uh, oh, I'm yeah, up in Tucson. I'm up in Tucson. No there's no repair shop or garage in um, Sierra Vista. Yeah. That's okay. We'll pull over and hang. Are, out. are you taking a left turn there, Matt? Negative. Well, you might want to since there's a question mark. Yeah. Oh, well, too late for me. You can go ahead, though. Nah. Don't bother me none. We're gonna pull off on the side of the road and wait anyway. <laughs> so it's not like we're in a hurry. I'll get it for y'all. Oh, thanks, man. Solid bro move right there. <laughs> I 
It's a recruitment agency. Ah. We'll come back um, and paint these little things, little roads. Once we get high enough level with enough... Um, oh no. ...garages and workers, so that we can just roam. If you want to, you can haul ass down here, Creed. Just break all the speed limits. I'm probably going to. I'm trying to mess with the control conflicts. Gotcha. So apparently there's... Yeah, that... Uh... No. Well, while we wait, how's y'all's holidays going? Wonderfully. Excellent. I, I was invited to my assistant's daughter's piano recital on Thursday. Nice. Sounds like mm -hmm. fun. Yeah, I'm looking forward. This is going to be our first, my first time meeting her daughter, so... Just make sure when she's done playing, you just go, boo! <laughs> nah. Yeah. I'm, I, am, I am gonna wear my Christmas dress, though. Nice. I have one. <laughs> and I have a red, ca red cap with the white thing of on course. it as well. I'm gonna make my first dessert ever for the holidays. Oh yeah, what's oh. that? Oh? What's it gonna be? A mixed berry dump cake. Ooh, nice. dump cakes are good. What's a dump cake? It's a cake where you dump all the ingredients together, mix it up, and put it in the oven. I mean, isn't that, isn't that just a cake? Yeah, but a lot of cakes you have to do, like, wet, dry. This is just dump everything together, mix it together. That's where the name comes from. Oh. It's blueberry, raspberry, blackberry, and some white cake mix. Nice. Nice. I'm, I'm going to be making a, uh, a spice making cake. Roll cakes. Ooh. Nice spice cake. I'm probably going to be making some pies. Jealous. Not quite sure yet. I'll probably make some keto cookies. Because my grandmother has diabetes, so we can't make too many uh, sugary yeah. stuff. So I'm gonna make some almond flour, coconut flour, or some cookies with erythritol. My oh. diabetic roommate made some almond flour cookies that were pretty good. Mm -hmm. Creed, you they're, are booking it. How fast are you going? 65. Your icon is just flying down the highway. <laughs> <laughs> Snickerdoodles? Oh, I love Snickerdoodles. Yeah, red light violation, whatever. It's still pink. But yeah, we're doing we're doing a Mexican style Christmas, so we're doing like Oh, of course. Enchiladas and tamales and Oh. Spice nice. cake. We're not doing flan, because no thanks. Sure. Not for everyone. <laughs> yeah. I love it, but... I'm not into flan, but... that's. I figured spice cake would go well with Mexican food. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think we're picking up our tamales tomorrow night. Making a bunch of stuff. We're making blood sausages for Christmas and I think fish for New Year's. Mm. We usually do that. Is Cappy Hispanic? Fish. No, Cappy's whiter than a ghost. <laughs> Tr true. <laughs> <laughs> no, Cappy's, Cappy is super white. I'm super white. Both of our families are super white. It's just that we both grew up and were raised in South Texas, so... Hispanic Isn't culture is just our am culture because it's what we grew up in. Hispanic. I'm here. Hello. 
Hello. Hi. Go pick up your load. Hmm. Cappy's stepdad is from Mexico. Yeah. Grew up in Mexico. I think he came over in his, like, late teens or early 20s. bumped my mouse and made my camera go crazy. This what happens, happens for me every time I try and talk since I have it on push to talk on my mouse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so if there's to... a police why do officer... That? <laughs> why do what? Have a push to talk on your mouse. I mean, for this game, you don't have to. Because I have ADD and sometimes I make weird noises. So. Oh, same. Okay, okay. Gotcha. Nice. I've just accepted that people are going to hear them. Yeah, I, I understand that. I have ADD too, so. Her stepdad is legal? Yeah, he's an American citizen now. He's, he's a dual citizen. Plus, also, my mouse is very sensitive, like, it'll pick something up three rooms down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no! Uh. I gotta go to sleep soon. Nah. I meant my character, not me, myself. Alright, I'm gonna start pulling out. Gross. Yeah, I'll catch up. We'll just drive slower on the highway. Yeah, you can go ahead and go, Adam. I'll just, just make sure you watch where you need to exit and stuff, because we're not going to be able to tell you now, because yep. you're the first. <laughs> I'll just turn back around all the way up at Wisconsin. Maybe maybe turn up um, your turn on the voice navigation. He's gonna tell you when you're I'm falling through the, through the world. What is happening? <gasps> what is happening? Pink? No, literally, I found like the underneath. Uh, help. Oh no. Help. Oh no. F5. Uh, I can see you. I can see you flying. Um. Oh, no. F7? View services, tow to service. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where are you? I'll ha I I don't know yet. <laughs> I think what you're back. What the hell? He's all the way back up. There. <laughs> all right, just go, just go, just go, yeah, go, yeah. go, go. I'll meet. Just, I'll meet you at the next job. With, just drive yeah. with, with Yeah, just yeah, abandon that. that job. Yeah. Well, me getting towed abandoned it, so that's fine. Oh, oh my no. god. No, I, I need to go find those screenshots I just took and put them on the Discord. Yeah, dude, cause... definitely. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> How much damage did you get to your truck? I don't think I did. I literally just... The floor unloaded. And I just fell. Wow. Yeah, that, that happened to me when I tried playing Frosty mod, but it wasn't updated for the late, latest version yet, so it was basically no nothing, like Weird. that small um, square that I loaded in was ev everything I saw. I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick nap up here at the gas station. Yeah, man, go for it. Cool. I'll probably do the same. Okay, pictures are in convoy, but uh, Excellent. uh I'll, I'll meet up with you guys. <laughs> oh, this is exit only. Whoops, I'm already turning. Ooh. Ah! I almost turned that way. 
But then I noticed it was a one way only, so I didn't turn in. Too late. I did it. All right. Where's y'all's job taking you? Um, the the city south and west of you. Something on N. Uh, let me check. Oh, uh, Nogales. Nogales. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Nogales. No glaze. I didn't hit it. Yay! I didn't hit the car in front of me. Let me be really white about it. I think. Yeah, he's still driving. I need to check some other recipes for sugar-free, sweet, sugar-free stuff. Cocaine! I might no. make some chia pudding, though. With cocaine. How much, how much did that last job pay us? Uh, like 9,000, I think? Yeah. All I know is I was at twenty five thousand at the beginning of all this, and now I'm at sixty five thousand. Oh. Yeah, these 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 jobs pay pretty well. What's nice is the long distance jobs start paying a lot of money. Yeah. So the further you can drive, it it's like a multiplier for how much money it's going to pay out. It's a significant bump. Yeah, like it it offered. The, the the largest amount it offered for the pre when I was checking the jobs before we took this one was like two hundred and thirty three thousand dollars or something. But it was all the way up to I don't know. Oh yeah, you the longer jobs you can be making like two hundred grand per job. Yeah. They're pretty sick. Yeah, this one's nine thousand two hundred. The job we're doing right now, and it's only like two hundred and fifty miles. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma on the coke? <laughs> yeah, man. But you also get more money the more if you do high lev high level high value cargo or something, the more levels Hazardous. you have in it, the more money you get. Yeah. Or fragile cargo. You get extra bonus for that as well. Yeah, when I was playing by myself it seemed like heavy halls were given the most money. Mm -hmm. That too. This truck in front of me is struggling. Oh my god, this hill is insane. You're gonna have fun. You're gonna need to gun it. I was gonna say, hill. like, just, just you wait till I get over there. You're gonna have to gun it, dude. My truck is struggling. I made it at 19, 20 miles per hour. I was doing like 12 because there was a truck in front of me. Yeah. So I yeah, when you get to that when you get to that hill, Adam, just gun it. Yeah. I'm gunning it, but I got two trucks right in front of me. Go around them. <laughs> like otherwise, you ain't getting up that hill. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know if we need to push you. <laughs> I'm making it up there. I'm just going on the side of the road instead of on the road. There you um, go. Next up, we make maybe upgrade your engines. Uh, I mean, I have a 540 horsepower, so it's not the basic engine, but we'll see. <laughs> Pre-split? Man, Captain, I know, you're the best. Happy. I know that I have a new chassis that I could potentially choose from, but I don't know how much difference that'll make. Uh, that gives you, gets you the ability to go up hills better, usually. Yeah. Cappy brought me pop tarts. Nice. nice. Bon appetit. How'd your grandma die? She flipped her vet. Yeah. She's, she's doing 120 around a curve. My grandmother did that. What? Really? Um, not exactly that, but she she blew up her car engine. Oh. Oh no. She drove. She drove from my city all the way to Oklahoma and back. Essentially. Oh man. Essentially, yeah. 
essentially over a weekend and had forgotten to put oil in her engine. Ooh. Oh no. And she was doing like 85 the whole way. She was Oh yeah, it. just just going up through like sh center of the state. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. And what was what was impressive is her engine didn't explode until she was about like an hour, hour and a half away from home on the way back. I mean, that's good. She drove all like, the way to Oklahoma, did the stuff she needed to do, and drove all the way back before her engine exploded. <laughs> positives, like, I guess. <laughs> oh my god. Looks like I'm like Baca, I missed the turn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least it wasn't a long way to turn around. Alright, I'm rolling into town. Yay. Yeah, we haven't gone to Nogales, Nogales yet. Because the road isn't painted yet. I'm still 35 in-game minutes away. Okay. 45 for me. An hour and seven minutes. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, Adam, out. after we finish this job check, if there's any upgrades for you. How are you an hour away? Because I missed the turn, so I'm having to do a U-turn, and I have two red yeah. lights in front of me. Yeah, you're, you're I, right. I, get, I get the same. I see you now. I didn't realize you went all the way into Tucson. I'm literally sitting at a red light funny that like non-americans like me would pronounce tucson like tucson or something oh americans pronounce me. it like tucson too yeah you're not don't the only don't one. Get wrong <laughs> yeah. and then tucson <laughs> makes me think of french like it's a french mm -hmm. pronunciation tucson tucson it's yeah. just like is it tucson? arkansas or arkansas yeah arkansas changed my mind It's one of those stupid, um, it's one of those stupid laws that nobody enforces where it's actually illegal to pronounce it Arkansas. Mm-hmm. Because it's a, uh... That's, yeah, you get confused because there's Kansas and then there's Arkansas. Yeah. It's well, weird. I learned that Arkansas was named first. And then it's also... Uh, it's 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 supposed to be using a Native American word. It's not exactly the correct word, but it's trying. All to I know is, go ahead. I was just gonna say it's trying to imitate a, a Native American word. All I know is, since we're talking about laws, I ended up looking up a stupid law here in Georgia. I don't know if it's still a thing. But once upon a time, it was illegal for you to have an ice cream cone in your back pocket on a Sunday. I mean, it's illegal to have an ice cream cone in your back pocket in general. You should eat it, not put it in your pocket to melt. I mean, what? <laughs> What sucks is over time my pedals keep getting pushed back further and further and every now and then I have to pull them back in otherwise it's only my tippy toes that can touch them. That's adorable. Glue them. <laughs> Glue them? No. Do you have a wall behind your desk? Uh, yeah, but I mean if I do it like that, like... No, I'm saying my... like put, put a spacer in between the wall and your pedals that way they can't get pushed yeah. any further back yeah like a True. like a brick or a piece of wood or something yeah but then again like i i hit my clutch because I'm, I'm trying to shift i i 
put a lot of oomph whenever I hit the clutch. It'll probably mm -hmm. just bounce off of it. Job market external contract. Price. Yeah, there's a maximum from Nogales to Portland is like 121k, the longest, the most profitable one. And it's just an, it's just gifts. Hang on, I should level up once I turn this in, in which I, case I can put another point in the distance. You can gotcha. go even further. I'll wait before I accept a job so I can see what your distance limit is. I'm gonna go get gas real quick. And I don't think there's uh No wait, I'll I'll get it later. I don't think there's a repair shop. I almost repair. missed the turn again. <laughs> oh no, why do you keep doing that? <laughs> I almost did, but I didn't thank God. Well, if you can rank up, that's up to 650. So. That'll be a good distance. I think that top one is 651. <laughs> it is. There's a Nogales to Oxnard for yeah. like 591 miles for 42k. Yeah. Oh my god, I did not level. Oh, oh. bummer. I'm 130 away. Oh. Uh, El Centro, 25k. 356 miles. Let's do show low. That, that one actually looks fun. Okay. Accepted. I the distance. I don't think we've been to show low either yet, so yay. Uh, when you click on a route uh, in the top right of the map, it says trip distance, trip oh. time. Okay. Shh, don't tell him. Shh. No, I will tell him. It's a secret to everyone. Take this. Oh, cool. It's still in the same spot. You're in the same spot. We the job, I mean. Nope. Pickup. Nope. No jobs. No more jobs. No job in game. No job, only truck. Jack, not name. Jack job. Hey, idiot. You're What's the up? one parked behind me. Quit honking at me, motherfucker. Sorry. No, it's this Jeep. Pretty sure it was me. You called somebody an idiot. That had to be me. That's fair. <laughs> I well, think we can all I mean, agree that it's I'm, me I'm right base, now. My name is basically idiot in Japanese, so... <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got everyone beat for tickets for the day. And I don't chairs. know. I, I got quite a few on the way over here. <clears throat> I don't beat anyone because I haven't turned off. <laughs> I don't count, though. Fuck cheats? I mean, to be I mean, fair, Baka had them turned on. I want to say, if Baka had them on, she'd be in the negative for money. She's yeah. too broke. <laughs> All right, Creed, get over here. Pick up the job. Of, of course, it was the one place that I wasn't by. I was by every other one. Had to be at this one over here. Well, you know. 
I'll pull over and wait for y'all. Really hope I don't just fall through the world again. Oh, come on, that'd be cool. It, it was kind of terrifying because, like, my the nose of my truck started pitching down, and I was like, "Wait, whoa, 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 whoa what? There's not a ramp up here." Oh, what? <laughs> oh. And then, uh, yeah, just no map. I like that there's a sticker at the back of this truck that has caution: wide right turns. It, it very, very wide. Yeah. That's standard in the United States. I haven't seen it on any of the other trucks yet. Well, they probably don't put it on the other ones because the other ones look relatively generic. And this is like a very fancy looking trailer. Yeah, like an event trailer. <laughs> hey, Baka, your ass is sticking into the road. Sorry. It's fine, they're driving by. Okay. Yeah. Let's see how many... I have, like, five um, deliveries left till I'm finished with the event. Ten Where's that? Ten out of fifteen. Hmm? Where's that? On the left of the convoy. The left side of the convoy? Like the events, Christmas toys of yesteryear. Oh, this? Mm-hmm. Four out of fifteen. Okay. Nice. But I already did a few of them. In ETS no, you two, didn't. You cheated. In ATS, you you put in a bunch ago. of hacks. and You're a hacker, Baka. I know it. I win! She just types that in and the game is like, yep, she wins. I don't even know how to code. <laughs> But lies. Lies and slander. You wrote the AI for this game, that's why it's so janky. <laughs> <laughs> if only. I'd be able to move to right. America if I did that. Come with on. the money. I'm gonna wait until he hits the exit, and then I'll probably start making my way off. Yeah, I'll let you know. Sorry. That was you? <laughs> yeah. Unintentional. But it was a wind that blew by or something. <laughs> nope, I was trying to open the map that's like... You know how you can open a map that kind of appears on screen while you're driving? I was M. trying to open that one, but when I hit M, it switched to like the full screen map instead. And then I couldn't get out of it fast enough, and then I rear ended you. Alright. Hitting the on ramp. Alright, you can go, Adam. He's gonna get up to speed a lot faster than we are. I'm feathering it so I don't jump up on you too quick. I'm gonna have to stop somewhere and get gas anyways. Okay. Same. Make your choice. I mean, there's a gas station relatively soonish, but I don't know how to get there. It's like. It's, co it's confusing. Convoluted.
No, car, you're not part of the convoy. <laughs> you hanging in there, Creed? Oh yeah, I'm back here. Yeah, he's cool. he's real he's relatively close. No world shaking events yet. Not yet. <laughs> Ooh, I don't like how the camera ducks under signs when you're in the the overhead view. <laughs> Does that real quick like zoom in and out again? It, it real quick just whoop, and yeah. It's very Do you disorienting. Remember how, how how disorienting it was when you tried the what was it the oh, cinematic the, the cinematic cam? Oh god! Yeah. It was so hard to drive. <laughs> Once upon a time, I actually ra granted not in real life, but my dad had NASCAR and he had a wheel and everything. And I ended up winning a race in cinematic mode. Ooh. Nice. I was crying nice. myself. Stay out of the right-hand lane here, Creed. Yep. Mother... Get... Move! There's a right-hand... Or a right turn coming up. Thank you. I'm getting screen tears every now and then. I don't know if it's because I'm so far ahead of y'all or what. No, it, just, it happens sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, but it's like 1.2, 1.4 seconds worth. It's just like, where am I? <laughs> yeah, it, ha it happens that's, to me sometimes because of that's, my thing. Yeah, that's multiplayer. It's because uh, my oh, te still. technically my computer is telling your computer where like hazards are on the road and things like that, and. So sometimes your computer will be like, hey, is there a hazard here? And my computer's like, uh, Maybe. no. Maybe. <laughs> Get there and find out. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Sorry about crawling up that hill there, Creed. Yeah, it's fine. It's going like five. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, I'm not pulled too far forward. You go. You're fine. I'm willing to bet money since I'm in the lead. Some way, somehow, I'm going to miss a turn. That's okay. We'll follow you unerringly. Yeah, we're going to trust you with our lives. I'm not looking at my map. Please, God, I'm, don't I'm ever say that. I'm looking at my map to see if, there's, <laughs> if I can see any gas stations near. What is this guy doing? This guy just sat there. I don't have a turn light. You should go first. <laughs> we have this shopping center. It's the most popular shopping center in our entire city. Uh, and it has the worst designed... There's like a road that goes straight through the center of the shopping center. Uh, and there's exits on like the left and the right hand side of the road to go into certain areas of the parking lot. But it's the worst designed access road and parking lot system I've ever seen for that little area because it's a two-lane road, one in each direction, that goes through these parking lots. And the entrances and exits to the left and to the right are staggered. So there's a right, there's an exit to the right into the parking lot, and then a little bit further down the road, there's an exit to the left. And then a little further, there's another one on the right. And a little further, there's another on the left. Uh. And, the, and the problem with that is during Christmas, that place is packed. Oh. There's, there's like, there's easily probably like three or four thousand people in the shopping center all at the same time. And you, you'll get up to your exit and you'll try to, I'll be trying to turn left to get onto that side, that access road to get out. And there are people coming up the access road wanting to turn right and people wanting to go straight in front of me and people coming out of the access road on the left-hand side further down the road, turning out and then getting in front of me because they want to turn in the exit I'm coming out of. Oh, it's the worst designed area. My brain hurts hearing it, so I don't want to see it. Oh, it's so bad. Let alone dude. try and drive in it, yeah. 
like <laughs> ninety. I was literally like, like go ahead. What? <laughs> it says Baka honked, and I was like, who the hell's honking me? <laughs> and she just, just passed you me. Know I'm, yeah, I, on your left, you know. She I literally would, honked, and I like, looked around. And I was like, who the hell's honking? I would say ninety-eight percent of the the year that access road is perfectly fine. But right around Christmas, that place is just the worst place to be in town. Well, I just found out recently um, the city that I've moved to and currently live in now is the second biggest city in Georgia, and it shows. Yeah. Big cities be big. Uh, which one is that? Which city am I in? I mean, you already said it's second biggest, so like... I'm not American. I don't know geography. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, Columbus, Columbus, Georgia. Yeah, well, it's pretty, pretty large. It wasn't large until the military decided to shut down two or three army bases and move everyone all the way to this base that's here. Mm. Yeah, that, that'll that'll bring an influx of people, definitely. So. There's a, there's a gas station at the corner somewhere ne next to where we're driving. I'm gonna I'll stop, there. stop there. Yeah, I got 165 miles to go, the gas wise. Oh no. Yeah, it'll be fine. I mean, I have less than a little less than a half, but I like to oh, fill it up when I'm ghost truck. when I'm still. Not in danger, you know. Oh, scared the crap out of me! A ghost truck just appeared in front of me and it happens every now and then. Drifted through me. Uh. You have to slow down here, Creed. Yeah. Oh, trust me, I'm already at thirty. <laughs> okay, you'll be fine then. I I brake checked myself with that ghost truck. It's probably a bad idea to rear-end a police officer, right? Probably. It's never gone well for me. No, he'll he'll just get out of his car and hand you a donut and say, how's your day going? Mmm, donuts. I hope I'm clear, because I ain't looking. You are not clear. YOLO. <laughs> Hey, I didn't get hit by anything. Jeez, this is a traffic jam. Yeah. I'm at the front of it now. Well, good for you. I'm having so much fun driving this with that with you guys. <laughs> it's always so much fun. And much funner than playing by myself. No, it's a good time. Mm-hmm. It's because we're all cool people. The coolest people we will ever meet. Yeah. This is fun, but I can tell you. I can tell you right I now. Know. I know. Uh, I know my calves are gonna be sore tomorrow. Oh yeah. Please. I'm glad you guys decided to get gas because it really helped us get through this uh, traffic jam in time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm only just now <laughs> getting to it. And, and here I thought I would have to catch up, right? <laughs> no, you're still in the front. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's
That's how bad this traffic jam is. You stopped for gas, and you're still in front. Yep. <laughs> uh, I love convoy, man. I'm glad they added it. I'm glad we don't have to go through all the hoops. Yeah, it's so much better. I mean, the trucker MP was... It was good. Not enjoy it, it was not enjoyable. I mean, we, we all tried it, but, you know... I don't know, driving past other truckers and just honking when they pass you, going the other way, that's pretty fun. Um, it is, just, it's not just, it's just not fun when someone driving a car rear ends you or oh, just yeah. drives by and, like, I think it happened to Matt a few times, like, someone just cra crashed, crashed into him mm -hmm. on purpose. It's part of the reason why I don't play online games very much people people come by to the stream and they see you're playing a game that they like and then they want to hop onto the multiplayer system so they can come and fuck with you and it's like i just want to play right. the game and fuck be left alone light. fuck this red light that one going. guy that snowflake Yellow. or whatever his name was that joined us this one time even when we told him um it's for friends only and he said he said i'm the best uh, driver that I'm a very good driver, and then he just rear-ended like three or five uh, cars <laughs> and, oh, no. and, and almost uh, drove Matt off the road. Beesh. I think we have it on a clip. We have a clip of it. This is a pretty view. Mm -hmm. You're a pretty view. Oh. Did you just imitate Homer Simpson? Close enough. I no, because I don't <laughs> watch that, so I wouldn't. I wouldn't even know that I'm doing that. I mean, though, he's like. Um, it was pretty close. I, know, I mean, uh, even I know where Doe comes from. And I, I mean, he's more of his is more of like don't like one yeah, that's second. Fair. Mine was like mine was like do d a w. This is like d o h or d o e. <laughs> okay. It's an important distinction. It is. English, it's it's yeah, you gotta be very distinct. Yes, letter soup. Letter soup. Verbal diarrhea. English is five another, other languages in a trench coat. Here's another gas station. We're right on where you don't even have to go out of. Just drive in, drive out. <laughs> Very windy. Yeah, I like it. Ah, uh, speeding violation. Well, don't speed. Yeah, I mean, why do you speed? But, but I like speed. <laughs> <laughs> speed Just is turn my middle the name. violations off. Then gotta gotta like go fast. Speed. Yeah. Got it's an American thing. We got places to go. My dad lost his uh, driving license because he was speeding for a year or so, then he, and he had to go do it again this year. I, so uh... Fucked. Yeah. I, no, back, I... back when I was in the military, I had a buddy that I worked with that got uh, caught with a speeding fine with over 15 miles over the speed limit. Mm. And he lost the ability, well, not lost the ability, but he was no longer allowed to drive on base. So I was the one that had to go pick him up from his his house and drive yeah. him to work all, every for a year. Oh. They, make him, they should just make him walk. Like, you live well, on base, just walk, man. No, he didn't live on base. Oh, I thought he lived on so, base. So, he, he was still able to drive off of base, so he would drive from his house to the gas station right off base, park his car there, lock it, and then get in my car and I'd drive him all the way to work on base, and then vice versa. They wouldn't left. even let him through the gate? Uh, no. Because they had have him in the system whenever you, they scan your ID. That's tell them, hey. awesome. Oh. Well, not really when you have to take care of somebody else for a year. I guess, yeah. So I just made him pay me 30 bucks a month, dollar a day. That's pretty reasonable. Yeah. It'd just be a constant busting his chops every day. 
get into the car, he'd be well, like, Hey, buddy, where's my dollar? <laughs> for my dad because he has a job that he has to drive to his clients to measure their rooms, kitchens for closets and everything, you know? Mm -hmm. So it sucked that, I mean, it was his own fault that he got, but it was a problem. I We were scared there for a few seconds, for a few moments, that he would lose his job because of it, because, you know? Kinda need to. Yeah, yeah, need to be able to get kinda out there. Kind of needs his driving license to drive out there, you know, and he lost it for a year. Yeah, Ugh. that wasn't yeah. nice. I mean, he, and the, the, the thing is that he already lost it once because of the same thing. Left lane closed, work ahead, plus red light. I had a friend just coming back from California to Missouri a couple months ago, got caught doing 30 over. Oh my god. Yeah. I think technically it was 29, which does not qualify for a felony in California. 30 is what is a felony, apparently. California also has 55. Yeah. Yeah, he was going like 80 something. <laughs> hey, Young Tex, thanks for the raid, man. Hello! Welcome to the fam. What were you, uh, what were you streaming? I'm assuming it was ATS. Usually that's how that goes, but. Yeah. How are you guys? Stuck at a construction red light. <laughs> I mean, that's where I was stuck for a few seconds. Yeah, me and Baka got lucky. We were at the front of the red light. Mm -hmm. Nice. 